I'm going to show you how to display GL account balances with the Fiori app and the transaction code in SAP s system. My name is Nun Dias and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, Please subscribe to this channel to receive new views on a weekly basis. In the version ec 6 we used to use the transaction code FS10N to display GL account balances. In s 4 system, we have the transaction codes FAGLB0, which is exactly the same thing as that transaction code. Apart from that, we have the Fiori app, an exclusive of Fiori Launchpad with some improvements of the transaction code FIGLB03. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP GUI menu. As I said, we have the transaction codes FIGLB03, which if I go there and type FS10N, I'm going to get exactly the same transaction code. If I'm going to show you here, you have the, exactly the same transaction code. In here, we have the ledger to choose. So the ledger, which means that the ledger that you have for the company codes, you can choose a different ledger. For example, I'm going just to run as it is, I'm going to run for the zero L, and then I can go and I can change for two L, which is the other ledger that we are doing postings of the company codes, and then we get the information of the two L. But we are going to focus on the zero L for this example. So I'm going to choose zero L again, which is the leading ledger for this company code. And then I'm going to run this. So from here, uh, we have the balance of this uh, GL account, you know, by art, if I go there, if I click here twice, I'm going to get the, the documents that will compose that balance that we have there. When we move for the Fiori app, just to show the difference. So this is the Fiori Launchpad. If you don't if you don't know yet how to navigate, you can find the videos in the description of this one to know how to navigate in the Fiori app. Also, if you want to search for Fiori apps in the SAP Fiori library, and if you struggle, there is also a video here in the description of this one. So our tile that we are going to choose for the video is to display gel balances. I'm going to click here. And then, it, as you can see, is slightly different than the other one. You see, we have already the controlling area uh, on this um, on this selection screen options. Uh, whereas when we go back to the to the transaction code, there is only this information. Also, if I don't put any account number, I'm not able to run. But in the Fiori app, if I don't have any account number, so GL account in this case, I'm not putting any period, and I'm going to run, I'm going to get the full amount of all accounts in my chart of accounts that have postings. Of course, this was very quick because this is, this is a test company, it doesn't have much data, but if you do this in a production company, it will take much, much more time. So in here, uh, I can show you that in the filters, we still can put uh, business area and profit center and segment. If we want to, to have uh, the balances by profit center, uh, depending if you are uh, using the document splitting by profit center and the um, segments, you might, you might insert the profit center for the uh, balance sheet accounts. Okay, here I want to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to copy my gel account. So gel account is there, and then I'm going to run this, go. So if you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please make a like to us. <coughs> if you would like to share SAP knowledge, making a like in this video, you are doing uh, this sharing because YouTube will deliver this video for other people that, that is looking for that. So now if we go and click run, I'm going to get exactly the same information that I have there. We can also run for period one just to see if we have any data. There is no data for period one because uh, 
I want to see period three. So I run for period C, I only get period C in my screen. And as you can see, if I click here, I'm going to get to the display line items in general ledger for this Fiori app. And then from here, we can do uh, several things. Uh, we are going to see this uh, Fiori app later. Going to return back to this video. And then what we can do here is to export to Excel, which is much, much faster doing this, which is much, much faster doing this in the Fiori app rather than the, in the SAP grid. And I'm going to remove here. And then please leave your comments in the video if you prefer the transaction code or the Fiori app. In my case, I prefer to use the Fiori app. Now you know how to display JL account balances using a few the app and the transaction code in SAP S4 Rana system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget, subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.